All right, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle O football system. I want to talk about our third video or third step in our phase two install of Inside Gap RPOs, which is now our power play action passes, specifically looking at um, a four verts sequence here. As always, we like to use that three by three install. You can see here you would be using your uh, first phase of practice, the RPO, whether it's power, the back door, or the counters. And then the second phase now, we would be adding these play action passes off of the inside gap RPOs. And then phase three of the practice, you would run both a mix of the RPO and the pass, play action passes in game situations. So our first play action pass is what we call a north power. You'll see it out of a three by one here. You can run it out of three by one or two by two, because again, we're just gonna use our core pop routes that we use for our RPOs. What north does as a verbal cue, um, tells our O-line that it is play action pass, but they still use their power blocking scheme and techniques. But obviously, since it's pass, we've gotta stay on the line of scrimmage with this. The back now knows he's not getting the ball, but is going to fake through power and then actually is responsible for what would be the normal RPO read key is the SAM backer. So you can see we get a seven man protection doing the same look, same movement as power to the defense. And then we're just using our same pop routes, but it's pass all the way. Again, to keep things simple, anytime we put a hand signal at the top of the head, which is a one hand salute here now that tells the quarterback to use a north verbal cue to the O-line to designate play action pass. But the signal of one hand tells the receivers that they are running their pop route with this. Again, quarterback's just gonna read this. Uh, we love running this to the two receiver side where we're looking for the bender uh, read. If we don't have that wide open, then we've got the X running the looky flat slant right underneath. If we want to change the routes to attack defense's weaknesses, we simply change the signal, not the verbal. So what we do here now is we have both hands, two hands saluting. This tells the receivers that it is play action pass, but now we're going to do a slot fade route concept. We'll mix it up. The A now runs the slot fade. The Z does a stutter or stop and start four step looky for timing and the x still runs as normal glance route again o-line here's the north call the quarterback uses whether it's two hands or one hands on top of the head tells us it's play action pass back again knows now he's going to fake power and be responsible for the read key normal read key of the rpo the sam backer we love this against one high uh, man press Again, especially if your A is a great receiver and you want to just be able to work matchups here or mismatches, hopefully. For our protection, we use this as our core pocket pass protection. It's a half man slide protection. We're going to be man to the front side and then slide and be zoned to the back side. So let's look at the upper left hand front of 4 3 base. The play side tackle is always big to fan. So he's always in a man principle on the defensive end typically. The guard then does a big to back, meaning if he is covered, he will stay base also, a man blocking rule. But if he's uncovered, then he'll slide back and be part of the zone principle. The center, the right guard, the right tackle, which are the backside from the call, are always gonna slide to their backside gap and then they're in a zone principle responsible for the down lineman and the wheel backer. You can see here the diagram to the upper left, we're gonna do a Northern Phoenix is the call. So North tells us play action pass. Phoenix means we're faking power to the left. That sets the protection front side to the left. So the left tackle is man, the left guard is big to back and the center right guard, right tackle are slide back principles. The running back on this is the double checker. He's going to fake power and then it's going to check the mic backer to the Sam going inside out. The key is he wants to get into the line of scrimmage and make a great fake here also. If we do this to an odd front, you can see now the changeup 
for the play side tackle or the play side guard, I'm sorry. We have an odd front and we're calling a northern Pittsburgh here. So the front side is to the right. Again, the right tackle is big on the defensive end, but the right guard now is uncovered. So he would slide back to his inside gap and be part of the zone principle. Now those four linemen have the two down linemen or the three down linemen and the wheelbacker four on four. The back once again is going to go ahead, fake power to the right, checking inside out, double check, always going to the mic first, Sam second. And we've got the H then having the ability to free release into the routes. As all our as is all our inside gap RPOs, the same happens with our pass pro here versus TNT fronts. When again the O line calls out TNT for our pocket pro, now the center calls a mambo call and sends that all to the lineman. That means they are man on man. And the back now is going to go Mike to opposite side, the will backer, Mike, to will with it. Again, when we get TNTs, we say we've got basically five man fronts. So now we've got our five linemen just blocking the down D line and the back will double check the two backers left going Mike now to will. That's a TNT and a Mambo call. Man on man, back opposite. Here then is our four verts. We love using this as our, our uh, start to our play action pass progression and you'll see the sequence here a uh, great way to attack different coverages and use different mismatches first one is just our giants we use uh, major league baseball theme here and then we use first name as our direction to set the front side for the pass pro so a giants lisa would set us to the left that means the left tackle is big the left guard is covered so he's big and then the right center right guard right tackle are sliding back are in the zone principle back with this is always going to just check uh, line up play side to the call so we're going with an ace left formation puts the z and a towards the call and the back would actually line up towards that also faking power towards the h going mike to sam though with the lisa call left call what makes this great for our two minute offense, or we call our 911, is we can be really fast because the signal's all uh, bunched together. We're just going to go ahead and use our directional pointer upward, is an ace left formation. And then once we start to do a circling motion, that automatically tells receivers it's an all go. And it tells the quarterback, Giants is the call, and he'll stay with that same direction as the formation, Lisa with it. Real simple here, four verts. Our read key for our quarterback is always gonna be the backside safety, which we call a GOAT, which you see in the diagram. It's the upper right in the green. Again, we're gonna look for the A and the H open in the middle. If we don't have this wide open, meaning it is 100% we feel completion, we don't wanna force this, then our out is just to go to the boundary outside receiver. In this case, it's usually the X, and there we're gonna throw um, a go route take off up the sideline or a back shoulder fade there to him. Giants, Lisa, four verts. The next step we would do with our four verts is we simply add a Phillies call, meaning it's a promise or a switch with the X and the H. We're still doing all four verts. Nice thing with this signal is we still keep it really fast. We're just going to use our pinky now instead of the pointer and we'll circle that. Pinky promise is the word association. X now is going to run a uh, skinny seam, going to get up to that hash and get vertical as fast as he can. The H is going to go behind him on a wheel route and get to the numbers. Again, quarterback still going to read the GOAT, looking inside for the A and the X now. Doesn't have that wide open. Then he goes to that H up the backside on the numbers for the takeoff wheel or a back shoulder fade there. Again, we just would simply go Phillies Lisa setting the pass protection to the left and the back sets to then to the left with the power action checking Mike to Sam. Promise, Phillies. This is a great one now to start. You start getting man coverage with your four verts. We'll just add a drag route here, a dragger. So we go Dodgers. What we do then is the Z runs a under route under the mic and the will. 
Again, the signal is real simple. We'll use our peace sign, which is our duo's left formation. Um, and we just would do the circling motion with that. Again, Lisa will set the protection to the left. Lisa puts the back to that side, faking power. Now all we do is add the Z with the under route. The quarterback still is going to read the GOAT for the inside A and the H. If he doesn't like it, now he can check down underneath for the drag and still has the X on the boundary as his out with the takeoff or the back shoulder fade. Dodgers, Lisa, drag, three verts now. This is great now with matchups, but also gives us the ability to run four verts out of two by two or three by one. And we add some uh, different layers now. This is chunking or bunching of information to simplify things. When we go three by one, now we add a choice component for the X receiver. This is great because this should be one of your better receivers. If the teams want to slide heavy to your three receiver side, then you get one-on-one -on -one with a lot of field with your X. Real simple, he's just gonna read the alignment of the DB over him. If the DB is inside um, and up, he'll just go ahead and run his go route. If he's inside and off, he'll run a comeback. If he's off and or up, but on the outside, then he'll run his glance route, six step skinny slant. Quarterback here, still going to read this as the GOAT. So we're still looking for the two inside receivers up the seams. That would be the A and the H. This is the only concept piece we put here. And we always do it with the H back. So it's one person. Whenever he hears any type of four verts concept and he's in a th uh, three by one set. We do what's called a three over to one. He's going to still run back over to that one receiver, get to his hash going over the backers and then over the field trying to get up that hash mark again. So we get that middle horizontal stretch. Now we add the Dodger concept we use with the Z running the drag underneath. So the quarterback will read the goat for the A and the H. Doesn't like it. He's got the Z dragging underneath to the X now with the choice routes. He can also pre-snap this, and if he feels he has great access one-on-one -on -one with the X, um, just one-on-one -on -one with that dog or DB, he can go right to him full phase. We always want to check the goat though first, so we don't have our eyes lead the um, uh, defenders to the ball. Cubs, Lisa. We can go now to a um, uh, great addition here is to add a free release with the back. What we do here is we go two verts, um, but we just trade the protection with the H in the, in the back. The H now we add a laser call. The signal for this is we just use our OK sign because we're in now our trio formation and we do the circling action. This is the one where the quarterback has to know he changes this from a Lisa call to a laser. It's going to tell the H now to go ahead and replace the back and check the mic to the Sam. And the back now will free release it running the wheel route up the back side. So we're still going to look for the A and the X, X running up the seams in the middle. We don't like it. We got the Z dragging underneath to the back with the wheel up the back side to a back shoulder fade there. Again, Cubs laser gives us a chance, or uh, Brewers laser gives us a chance to get the back free releasing.